agriculture. These are some of the business clusters that are operating in Vancouver's industrial lands. Vancouver is perceived as an emerging global destination in technology and innovation industries. Yet, only 6% of Vancouver's land base is industrial. Did you know that Vancouver's industrial lands, like housing, suffer from extremely low vacancy rates and skyrocketing land values? <coughs> the False Creek Flats, one of Vancouver's central industrial lands, is affected by this. Today, the area supports 8,000 diverse jobs, and this number is expected to quadruple in 30 years. But how can the flats attain higher employment des densities while also protecting the affordability and availability of industrial spaces? This is the question our research team tried to answer. We looked at challenges and opportunities of industrial entrepreneurs in the flats with one goal in mind, to explore the feasibility of, and sustain, of sustainable and affordable industrial innovation spaces. Uh, this was a need identified by our project partner, the Vancouver Economic Commission. During our presentation, we will illustrate three industrial innovation space types, share our findings from evaluating eight precedent models, and we will provide recommendations. So first, let's define industrial innovation spaces. These are industrial or commercial buildings that share amenities and resources. To understand the feasibility of these spaces, we studied eight precedent models three in Vancouver, three within Ontario, and two in New York. We categorize the space types into three, sorry, we categorize the models into three space types. Co-location hubs provide affordable lease rates and shared amenities by giving compatible tenants the ability to co-lease, sub-lease, or even strata on spaces. Commercialization spaces allow their users to share high-cost equipment and to learn and grow together. And economic community centers are an admission category that allow users to share knowledge and resources by providing skills training, networking, and economic enablement opportunities. As we will demonstrate today, these three space types are a conduit for attaining sustainable and affordable industrial spaces. We developed a criteria to evaluate the present models under each space type. The criteria gives us insights into their governance, financing, and, pol and policy tools their approaches to programming and space characteristics, and into their sustainability impact. After evaluating the present models, we discovered that these were a mix of for-profit and non-profit organizations with some key benefits. Shared spaces produce high employment densities and create a diversity of well-paid, long-term, low-barrier jobs. This high density also contributes to sustainability impact. Sharing services and resources among users led to startup um, to reduce startup and operating costs, as well as reduce greenhouse gas emissions. <coughs> Last, the present models contributed to economic development by propelling business growth. In addition to these benefits, our, eval our evaluation also reveals some success drivers. These businesses operate in diverse ways. Partnerships with the private sector and multi-level government were essential in supporting their growth. Some business owners use their personal networks and collaborated with like-minded individuals to get their businesses off the ground. Others devised unique building designs that strap, like stacked industrial warehouses, which maximizes space and offer cost savings. Our evaluation also exposed three theme challenges which informed our recommendations. Unfamiliarity with these business models by banks and lenders led to financial challenges and lack of support from city staff. The city of Vancouver can help raise awareness about the benefits of industrial innovation spaces to boost their access to external financing and support. Another challenge was locating affordable land and paying for retrofits. This can be overcome by having an industrial concierge staff within the city to champion industrial innovation spaces. Industrial land use regulations varied by jurisdiction. Some facilitated collocations, others did not. The City of Vancouver can prevent this by, re by reviewing its industrial zoning bylaws to ensure flexible uses are allowed. In addition to these three recommendations, further research, research should be conducted to better understand the needs of those who regularly use these innovation spaces. We believe that well understood and intentionally designed industrial 
spaces supported by partnerships are the solution to creating affordable and sustainable spaces in our limited industrial lands. Enabling industrial innovation spaces will, will allow the city of Vancouver to position itself as a leader in industrial innovation economies. 